Welcome back to the Taiwan Outlook. I'm your host, Ray Guo. In this final segment on today's program, we will continue our conversation with Professor Li Yunjie of the National Open University. Yunjie, we're going to start off sure. with a question very close uh -huh. to a lot of people living in Taiwan, which is our economic relations with China. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, over the course of the past you know, 20 plus years, mm -hmm. a lot of the Taiwan businesses have been you know, uh, you know, directing their resources onto the mainland and make their investments on the mainland in terms of manufacturing you know, products mm -hmm. for eventual export mm -hmm. you know, onto uh, a European market okay. or in the yeah, US. United States. Yeah. But of course, the situation has changed in the last 20 you know, some years mm -hmm. you know, because now China is no longer just the world factory, but also, also potentially world the world market. market. Mm -hmm. like, uh, exactly. And you mentioned earlier about the possible signing between China and Taiwan on the Economic Cooperation Framework Agreement, mm -hmm. ECFA. Uh, maybe you know, as early as the second half of 2009. Mm -hmm. And you believe that this package, if signed between the two sides, will mm -hmm. help Taiwan in terms of our economic you know, competitiveness mm -hmm. and also in terms of our employment situation. Yep. And how would you then categorize the overall China and Taiwan relations, especially in the economic domain at this point? Well, I think the uh uh, right now, the economic relationship with, between uh, across this trade mm -hmm. uh, would be, you know, get closer and closer. Yes. But uh, but but even if there is also uh, a lot of the uh, difficulties yes. in the future, for example, I mean, you know, to sign the ECFA mm -hmm. uh, in Taiwan is mainstream. Uh, is mainstream opinion. Mm -hmm. But you know, the ob opposites, you know, came. Mm -hmm. Uh, they have a different uh, opinion, and I mean this is gonna be a tough job for the government to persuade the opposite camp yes. to you know agree with the signing of the ECFA. Mm -hmm. So the first step for Taiwan government is to persuade or to communicate with the green camp, mm -hmm. and the second step uh, mm -hmm. is to negotiate with the the Beijing mm -hmm. government. Yeah. And if if you look at the outcome of the you know the third Jiang Chenhui yes. Jiang Chen meeting, it seemed to me that the Beijing has a lot of concern. Yes. You know, in signing the ECFA. Mm -hmm. It's not what we expect. Mm -hmm. Because uh I think you know Be you know in, in the view from the viewpoint of Beijing, they think well we are the one who give you, you know, a lot of things, a lot mm -hmm. of benefits. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, you know, we always give and give and give. Mm -hmm. And what did you, what are you gonna give me? Mm -hmm. Make it reciprocal. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, I mean, um, so even the ECFA is very important for Taiwan's, uh, you know, future. Uh -huh. But we. We, I mean, we need to be pragmatic. Yes. Because, uh, for example, like, uh, you know, the, the banking mm -hmm. agreement, uh, I mean, the, uh, the MOU, MOU, MOU yes. across the street. Um, you know, Taiwan, you know, one, they, they expect, Taiwan expect uh, Beijing to, you know, allow the Taiwan's bank to, you know, Operate to upgrade the RMB, the yes. B yes. A, as a local bank, yes. you know, without the restriction, the regulation of the uh, foreign Two bank, year. the foreign bank, you yes. know. The, but the China, but but the, the, China, the China would say that okay, if you want to have the lo the, the, the 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 condition as local bank, then why don't you you know take the the model of SEPA, yes, like you know Hong Kong model. Mm -hmm. But you know politically, Taiwan, mm -hmm. you know. Can never accept can that. Can never yeah. accept yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that, that's I mean, that's the dilemma. Dilemma. Yeah. Yes. So uh, I think the ECFA. I we, I think we need to you know um, have a domestic consensus on yes, the issue first. And also we we need to you know uh -huh. uh, you know become you know more wise uh, yeah. wisely to yes, yeah. to overcome you know such a difficulties across the trade. Yes. 
And in Jay, you mentioned there, there is no easy lunch, no, <laughs> no, no free lunch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you mentioned earlier about the third summit meeting between China's Association for Relations across Taiwan Straits, uh -huh. ARATS, and also Taiwan's Straits Exchange Foundation, CEF, CEF. You know, which is held at the end of April in Nanjing, China. Yes. And uh, there were three agreements uh -huh. and also one joint declaration. They you are know, signed between the two sides at the summit meeting. The three agreements, of course, is on financial cooperation, mm -hmm. on joint crime fighting, mm -hmm. and also uh, the third one is on the uh, the the fry. The, yeah, the, the, increasing increase the, the, the uh, schedule. The schedule of fries. Yes. Yes. And those you know three agreements, of course, will certainly offer a lot more convenience yes. for the travelers. You know, want to travel between you know Taiwan and China in the future of weather for business or for personal reasons, yes. but also that joint declaration about opening up Taiwan okay. to Chinese investments you know, was also uh, something of a very you know, uh, unprecedented nature in Taiwan mm -hmm. before. Uh -huh. And certainly we may see as early as the second half of 2009 that the Chinese investments will come into Taiwan and maybe over 30 percent of the you know, manufacturing industries will be open. Mm -hmm. including like solar power, yep. you know, wind power, uh -huh. in-car communication, and mm -hmm. also precision you know, machinery, and also mm -hmm. automobiles. Mm -hmm. So this is a wide variety of uh, areas yep. that the Chinese investment could come in. Do you think that you know, with the Chinese investment coming into Taiwan, will that help in terms of the gap that we see you know, in terms of lacking private investments yep. in Taiwan? Will that fulfill that gap and help Taiwan to revive its economy quickly, you know, following, you know, whether we have ECFA or not with China. I mean, definitely, definitely. Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. the opening Taiwan to the uh, China, uh, mainland China investment mm -hmm. is, you know, to uh, supplement the gap yes. of the uh, private investment in Taiwan. Yes. The mainland China investment would, you know, we can treat, we can treat the, uh, the mainland investment as a foreign direct investment, mm -hmm. okay? And that would, that would increase our GDP growth. Yes. Oh. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, I think this is, I mean, this is absolutely good news yeah. for Taiwan economic growth. Mm -hmm. But however, um, right now, I think the uh, Taiwan government, they still have, uh, you know, some uh, consideration in terms of the security, national security. Mm -hmm. So they would restrict the uh, mainland China investment to, you know. Uh, to a certain area. Yeah, a certain area. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. you know. Not across the board. Yeah, but, but, uh, but you know, the, but the, you know, the, uh, the, the, the mainland China investor, mm -hmm. they, I mean, they, they like to invest on the, you know, for example, like real, real estate. Yes. In, tai in Taiwan, but you know. Apparently the that's not <laughs> the, go the government said no, then no. <laughs> that's not allowed. Yes. So there are still, you know, a lot of things that need to be negotiated. Yes. And uh, I, I think the, um, the, the, uh, the Council of Men Affairs, maybe they need to uh, open their mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they, I mean, and trying to investigate. Yeah, yeah, I think they don't need to be you know, so cautious yes. that uh, uh -huh. maybe uh, you know, to to exclude, uh, to exclude lot of a lot of investment yes, yeah. into uh, Taiwan. Yes. But one final thing that, Yunjie, you mentioned earlier about the Taiwan financial institutions want to go to the mainland and they want to operate immediately. Immediately, yes. Yeah, as a local bank or yes. local uh, uh, security you know, exchange yes. you know, brokerage house. And, uh, you know, but also you know, because of WTO provisions yep. that China needs to you know, regulate all the foreign banks yes. uh, on an equal basis. On equal basis, yes. yes. So unless, of course, like what you said, that Taiwan can accept the SIPA <laughs> arrangement, then, yeah. then that we can be you know, one country, two system. But I don't think politically most of the people in Taiwan will not accept that. So given that, how would you think that you know, the niche for Taiwan's financial institution on the mainland? Because all the other foreign banks are already there. Yeah, and yes. you're going in much later than they, you know, they are. And you also have to wait additional two years because, before you can do the renminbi business. Yeah. How would you think that there are advantages? Well, I mean, yes, the, you know, the, uh, the chairman of the uh, China People Bank, yes. Zhou Xiaochuan, yeah. he said that, well, if Taiwan want to, be, want, want to have the, uh, the same condition as a local bank, mm -hmm. 
they can you know take the the SEPA model mm -hmm. um, <laughs> right now the the full bank full bank bank yes the Taipei full bank bank yeah they are follow the the uh, Hong Kong model yeah they invest into Xiamen Bank a, a, a Gangji Bank yes in in in, ha in Hong Kong then they they uh, they apply the uh, the SEPA the SEPA model and then they they invest they invest in Xiamen yes so. Uh, if we want to, I mean, uh, the situation is complicated here. Yeah. Uh, as as far as I know, right now the Beijing is still not allow Taiwan to operate uh, operate uh, in the yeah. you know, uh, yeah. business. Uh, yeah, immediately. Yeah, and uh, well, they they would think that if I give you so many things, yes, what are you gonna give me in return? So, yeah, yeah, and and I my. My concern, I think the, the concern of Beijing is that how the four major banks, yes. including the China Bank, China People Bank, and the uh, Construction ICBC, Bank, yes. ICBC, Construction Bank, yeah. the, the four banks, are they allowed to uh, operate in, in, Taiwan, in Taiwan? Right away. <laughs> but the Taiwan government, you know, no. they are very conservative. Yeah. Yes. In this issue, yeah. because is because their bank it has something so to big. do with. No. Yes. In addition, it has something to do with the sovereignty issue. Of course. I mean, okay. So, I mean, this is a complicated, but uh, yeah. But we will keep a close watch yes. on the latest development between the relations across the Taiwan Strait. Uh, I want to thank Professor Lin Jie okay. of the National Open University to be our special guest on the Taiwan Outlook today. I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on Macroview Television.